Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be multiplying two powers of two complex numbers. We have 1 plus i to the 23rd power, and that is multiplied by 1 minus i to the power 24. Okay, let's see how we can handle this problem. I'll be presenting three methods, and let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I'm thinking about using the binomial theorem, raising this to the power 23rd. But there's going to be 24 terms. Are you sure you want to do this? Probably not, right? This is a method that you probably would not use. But I still wanted to share with you, yes, that's an option, but I don't think you, you want to use it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. For my second method, I want to go ahead and square 1 plus i because it's a special number and when you square it you're going to get 1 plus i squared plus 2i hopefully you know that and i squared is equal to negative 1 so they cancel out leaving us with 2i right and similarly we have 1 minus i squared equals negative 2i awesome we're going to use that information now to get 1 plus i to the power 23 we need to take 1 plus i to the second power first and then raise it to the 11th power which gives us 1 plus i to the power 22 and we just multiply by another 1 plus i and that'll do the trick. Make sense? Great. Now we have the situation where we know that this is equal to 2i so we now have 2i to the 11th power multiply by 1 plus i and what is 2i to the 11th power? It's a product. You're going to raise it to the 11th power. So each factor is raised to the 11th power. In other words, this becomes 2 to the power 11 times i to the power 11 times 1 plus i. What is 2 to the 11th power? Do you know it? Well, 2 to the 10th is 1024. So that should be 2048. i to the 11 is i cubed, which leaves a remainder of 3, obviously 11. And i cubed is negative i, so it's going to be like this. And when you distribute the 1 plus i over that number, you'll hopefully get something simpler. Let's do it. It's going to give us negative i, and then negative i squared is positive 1. So you're going to get 248 multiplied by 1 minus i. Make sense? Okay, great. You can leave it at that for now, and then see what the other one gives us, and then we can kind of put these two things together okay now let's see what we're going to get from this number to the 24th power so again we're going to go ahead and square it first and then this time since 24 is even we can go ahead and just raise it to the 12th power directly which is nice and then from here we're going to get 1 minus i to the second which is negative 2i remember we talked about it and that's raised to the 12th power and as before, this is going to be negative 2 to the 12th power multiplied by i to the 12th power. But negative 2 to the 12th power is the same as 2 to the 12th power because 12 is even. Even though the base is negative, even power will take care of that. Okay? And now when you multiply, it's going to be 2 to the 12th. i to the 12th is 1, by the way, because 12 is a power, um, multiple of 4. So this is going to be 2 to the power 12 which is 4096. That, that would actually be the answer, the final answer for that part. Now, we need to put these two things together, right? So what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to multiply this by that. Let's do it. Okay, 1 plus i to the power 23 is 2048 times 1 minus i. And this one is just... 4096. And guess what that's going to look like? We're going to multiply the numbers. You know what that's going to look like? We're going to get 8,388,608 multiplied by 1 minus i. If you want to distribute, that's fine. You can leave it like that. That's also fine. But where does that number come from and what is it? What is it, right? I mean, where, what is 8 million something something? Well, remember, one of these was 2 to the 12th, the other one is 2 to the 11th. So their product is going to be 2 to the power 23. 
So this is what that number is, such a large number, right? And you can kind of leave the answer like that, okay? So far, so good. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the third method because remember, the first method was the binomial theorem. You're probably not going to use it, right? I don't think so. And then second is just this one and let's talk about the third. So for my third method, I'm going to take this to the 23rd and this to the 24th, right? So one thing to keep in mind is 23 and 24 are pretty close. I mean, aren't they? So we can kind of do this. Separate one of the 1 minus i's so we can get the same power. And then kind of bundle these together. Make sense? Because when you have, when you multiply two exponentials with the same exponent, you can basically multiply the bases. So this kind of turns into the following. 1 plus i times 1 minus i. And then the whole thing is raised to the power 23. And that's just multiplied by 1 minus i. But notice that from sum of two squares, this is equal to 2. 1 squared plus 1 squared, right? So it's 2 to the power 23 times 1 minus i. And guess what? It's the exact same thing that we found before. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.